vincontroller.eu. Check vehicle history for every used car in Europe. Hello everybody! Welcome back to the second episode of our Volkswagen Beetle series. Right now, we're on our way to MM Racing, where the car is thankfully already being worked on. But Mark from MM Racing has called us, saying that we should probably stop by if we have the time. I have no clue how many times we've gone there, just because they said they found something new. I don't know if I want to know this time. But there's always a bright side. This is going to be the most overbuilt Beetle in the whole of Slovakia. I believe we're planning to replace everything. Almost no old parts. Yep, that's true. We'll replace everything. Come to think of it, we could have built the car from scratch. And it would probably cost just as much. Well, that might be a good idea for the next project. So, as you can see, we are inside MM Racing, and the Beetle is already on the lift. But Joseph is looking at something very sadly. Peter, did you steal our engine? You can't just do that without telling anybody, you know? Huh, it's pretty hard to remember. But the truth is, the engine is out. If you look over there, that's the engine that's supposed to be inside the car. The guys really aren't losing any time. This is not just some visual build. Everything was taken out. The engine and even the transmission. I believe they're about to go and wash it. So let's go take a look at it and see if we can find some leaks. So why are we doing all this? Well, as we've mentioned already, somebody is going to win this car and we want them to have a perfect car. Yeah. Totally. We're doing all this because we want the new owner of this car to have many very free kilometers. This is going to be the first car in Slovak used car history that you can actually drive with no investments. Hey, what's up? I'm currently waiting on Joseph because he told me something came in the post. Apparently it's awesome. Oh, there he goes. Let's see what he has. So, tell me, what is it? Well, this is a rear wing so that we don't fly away. It's got put on like this. Hey, careful there, I don't want to hit you. So, it gets put on the car like this, and it gets mounted where the third rear brake light currently is. And the brake light gets mounted here. Ah, okay. It's gonna look pretty nice, I think. That's pretty fancy. I can't wait to fit it on the car. So, let's go check our Beetle out right now. And as far as we know from Marek, the engine should be already completed and inside the car. The car is still up on the lift. So, come with us and let's all hope we're pretty close to the first start of this beast. But first, let's play with our new toy. Let's fit it to the car. A nice mechanic has already removed the brake light. Now, we still have no idea if this fits. We haven't tried it yet. So let's see it. Oh, that looks pretty nice. Wow, this is a baby Porsche. Feel free to change my mind in the comments. But come on, just look at it. It looks so good on the car. I thought I've grown out of these things, but this looks perfect. And by the way, shout out to the lady who wrote to us recently when she was accusing us of stealing her own design. But come on, it looks so good. I don't know if she has the same wing, but it does fit the car very nicely. But what do you guys think? I mean, I definitely want this thing on the car. I mean, the lady can send us a photo of her wing so we can decide whether it's the same one, but I don't think it's the same. But just try to imagine this wing in color and with the brake light, along with the wrap that's going on the car. And it has the factory roof spoiler. I mean, two wings are better than one. The more stripes, the more Adidas. Okay, let me put it down gently. But today, we're not here because of this wing, although it might seem like it. We primarily wanted to check the condition the car is in. So, follow us to the front and let's see what's up. But not seeing the car two meters above the floor is a pretty good sign. 
So if you come around to the front, you can see the engine is already in the car. And just by looking at it, I can see the half of the components were replaced. I mean, we could start naming the components if you'd like. Should I start? Sure. All right, let's go. The whole engine was out, all the old lines were replaced, and every seal in the engine was replaced as well for a new one. Along with that, it got an oil change, the new power steering lines are already installed as well. They exploded when we wanted to measure the car's performance early on. The suspension has received some attention as well. Every single component was changed. The control arms, all the various bushings, ball joints, basically everything was changed. Timing belt was changed as well, so the car has a brand new one. Essentially, every component that's designed to wear down has been replaced. We haven't replaced the turbo, because it's still in pretty good condition. We're sticking with the stock turbo for now, and let's see if it survives Slovakia ring. Now, the biggest change for me is probably the brand new front axle. I'm really excited about the car driving as it should. And after we are done with all this, we have told the guys here to put all the replaced components in one big pile. So, you might not believe us that we're changing all this, but if you look at this pile, I think it becomes pretty obvious pretty quick that a lot of stuff was changed. We also had to change the radiator, although it was not part of a plan. So here is the old one, and the new one is already in the car. We have also ordered a brand new set of rear lights, because the guys that painted our car sadly broke the original ones. And the last thing that was worked on was the transmission. It has a brand new pressure plate, clutch, it has brand new transmission oil and it's completely cleaned. Now it should shift very smoothly. Also, before we put our mystery racing driver behind the wheel, we still have to check the brakes on the car. We are leaving the stock brakes for now, but we have replaced the brake fluid. We will also have to inspect the brake lines for leaks, and later on they're going to be upgraded to steel braided lines. But all that's going to happen after we have measured its performance, so we'll have to wait for that. So, what's the plan right now? Do we reassemble the car? Yeah, and we'll take it to the dyno, just as we have previously planned. <laughs> after all that, we are taking the car to Slovakia ring, so that we can find out what's the 0 to 100, and we'll check the times with the original Volkswagen ones. Our racing driver will also take the car for a few laps, so that we can find out the car's stock lap time. Okay, and just so it isn't so boring, we have thought of a small competition for you. And you can enter it in two categories. The first category is... How fast can this car lap the Slovak hearing in its completely stock form? It's worth guessing a plausible lap time. We have tried to make our own guesses. My own guess is around 2 minutes 40 to 2 minutes 50. Please let us know in the comments. And then there's still the second category. All you have to do is guess the power number, which we will measure on the dyno. Although we weren't able to measure it last time. Yeah, we measured a lot of power steering fluid. How much horsepower and newton meters does this car produce? Now, to make this all a bit less confusing, if you're guessing the lap time, please label it as a first category. And if you're guessing the dyno, that's the second category. And now for the price. The one of you that guesses or gets the closest, whether it be the lap time or the performance, gets a pretty nice present from us. When this car is done, you win an onboard lap with our mystery racing driver around the Slovakia ring. The winners will be the first ones to get that honor. Not even the two of us have tried it, but I think it's a nice experience. So, if this sounds interesting to you, feel free to join. When will we pick the winner? Probably after the first Slovak airing video. Alright then. Definitely leave your guesses in the comments, and I'm curious how close you get. Let's go over it all once more. The car has new suspension, but the dampers are staying stock. It's going to be running on the standard 15-inch winter tires. 
So definitely try to keep those in mind when guessing your time. Exactly, the car is stock and we'll be modifying it later. All right, we'll see each other in a few days on the dyno, which I'm really looking forward to. Oh, of course, and since the wing fits, we still have to have it painted. But when it comes back from paint, it's going to look brutal with a capital B. All right, see you in the next episode. See ya.